Today we're going to take a look at a classic report uh, that has a URL column and how we can kind of pretty it up with both an icon but also uh, handle the null values so it's, it's more usable uh, in, our, in our report here. So here we see that this particular column here has a YouTube link. Uh, there's only one value, uh, which is a highlight video for this one player. The rest have yet to be filled in. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into our page designer here. Um, we're gonna go down to the video column and transform this from plain text into a link. All right, and then we can go down here and begin to define our link. So in this particular case, we're going to define it as a URL, and we want it to actually have the value that's in our video field. So let me go ahead and hit OK, and I'll run this for you so you can see uh, what it looks like. All right, so now we've got a link, but if I click on the link, you'll see it opens over the same page, doesn't open up in a new window. Um, so we've got a link, but we definitely need to make it a little bit better. Uh, next on the list, let's go ahead and um, let's add in uh, some styling here, right? So there's this wonderful Apex uh, icon library that's you know installed with the product. In this particular case, we're going to go get the little video icon here. Um, we're going to steal some of this. I notice you want to want to kind of grab the CSS here. Um, and in our particular case, I'm going to go ahead and insert a uh, for our link text instead of the video. We're going to put a span tag here. Um, and with uh, the file video class, okay? Uh, and all this code will be in the markdown. Uh, the other thing we want to do here is make it open up in a new window. Uh, so, so simply we can put target equals new right here. So go ahead and hit save on this one. Let's run it again. And now we can see, oh man, we got video icons for everything. Now the good thing is if we do click on the right one, it will open up in a new tab, right? But we don't want all these spans to display in the column. And if you look at the code itself, what's actually happening here uh, is we've got a, a null value for the href, right? And then we've got our span here. So now we're gonna show you real quickly one way you can do this. Obviously you could do this in jQuery, but um, something that I kind of like is using CSS whenever possible. Um, so we're going to go over here to the top page, top of our page. We're going to go down to our inline CSS. All right, and for inline CSS, we're just going to create a simple CSS selector. If you're not familiar, this is going to say, hey, we're going to look for all the hrefs uh, that contain a period. So we're going to say, you know, there's different ways to do this. Maybe it takes multiple classes and selectors to fully get your application where you need it to be. But for today, we're going to say, if um, a period doesn't exist in the href, then we're not going to display anything on it. And since most URLs have to have at least a period, you know, for .com, uh, this should, should apply. So we'll go ahead and drop this in. Uh, this is kind of at our page level. And next, we'll grab the name. Going to go back over here to our video, and uh, you know we're going to add it right here. So I'm just going to put class equals hide nulls. I'll hit save, and using the selector now, if I run the page, all right, you can see it'll just take away everything where that doesn't exist, but leave uh, one value where we can open it up and watch the video. So if you need a quick way uh, to do that. That's one way you can use CSS selectors uh, inside reports uh, on link columns.